Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my November update of my 2023 five pan rolling style project pan. I'm so excited to share this update with you. And if you hear any baby noises, that is because I have my three week old baby in the room with me today while I'm filming this because my baby's attached to my hip right now. He is in here getting a little time to kick. So like I said, if you hear him, sorry about that, but this is just gonna be my life for the next six months or so while I am on maternity leave from work. So anyways, I wanna jump in to this video. I'm so excited to share this update with you because as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, we have hit another empty in this project, which I'm super excited about. And I guess I should probably quickly explain how this project works, but basically at the beginning of this year, I rolled five products into this project. My goal is to completely finish them. Once I finish one, I will roll it out of the project and then roll a new one in to replace it. And I've had a lot of success so far this year with this project pan. So I've shared this in other videos, but interestingly enough, I did a video either at the end of last year or beginning of this year called Planning to Pan, where I talked about all the products that I wanted to pan this year are completely empty. And for a few months now, all of those products have either been finished via a project pan or they are currently in my project pan right now. And actually one of the, the products that I finished this month was not even on that list. So I just feel like in general, this project pan has been pretty successful this year. And I'm just super excited about the progress that we have made and excited to talk through everything with you right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start off with my Beauty Vault lip liner in the shade Cozy Kira. I used this six times this month and I sharpened it once or twice. So definitely continuing to make progress on this one. I, I talk about it every month. I Never really used to wear a lip liner. I'm really happy that I rolled it into this project because it has definitely inspired me to wear it on a very regular basis. I just don't think I wear like a ton of it and so progress has been very slow. But also I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup because I have a newborn baby at home. So six uses I am happy with considering the circumstances and happy that I was able to sharpen it as well. Just slowly continuing to make progress and no matter where we end up this year with this one, I'm just happy that it was in this project and I had the opportunity and I actually like worked on it and used it instead of it just kind of sitting in my collection, which is what lip liners have tended to do for me in the past. So happy about that. And I do really enjoy like wearing it kind of like on its own and then just putting a lip gloss on top. Also, it's just really helpful to extend the wear of any like lip products that I am wearing as well. So it's been a good one like I said, and overall just really happy with the progress that I've been able to make in general. All right, next is another liner. This is my Avon eyeliner. You guys know the drill on this one. It is so tiny, but it is just taking me forever to use. But I use this four times this month, and I also sharpen this as well, so happy to see continued progress on this. We're just getting closer and closer to this being done and over with, which is all that I really want. You know, four times doesn't seem like a lot, but I have been like thinking about it more and trying to wear it more in my waterline and on my tight line. So hoping over the next couple months that I continue up that trend and maybe we can even progress to get more uses on this and just see more progress. This I don't think will be done by the end of this year, but I have said many times over that if it's not done by the end of this year, it's gonna immediately be rolled into next year's project pan. I'm just gonna keep using it until it's done because it's been in my collection a long time and I'm just, I'm ready to completely finish it. And so for me, finishing this is just basically not being able to sharpen it anymore. The next product that I wanna talk about is my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I used this 11 times this month. Still continuing to make progress on this, although still no pan on this product. I thought honestly that I'd hit it by now just because I feel like I use a good amount of powder every time when I do my makeup and Basically from my understanding, like the pan is as soon as you get like flush with the outer packaging and I'm pretty flush over here. There is still a little bit of a mound right here. So maybe next month, I would love to see a pan by the end of the year on this one. So we will see, but really happy to get 11 uses on this and just continue to see progress on this one. I also hit 11 uses on my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have been really enjoying this product because it is such a light coverage base for me. And to be honest, I rolled in something that has fuller coverage into my Shop My Stash project pan, just as an option if I wanted fuller coverage and really have not been pulling for that at all because I've just been really enjoying this 
one and just the lighter coverage because I have been home or doing things that are very low key. So this has been really nice and then I don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on my face, which is also a really nice feeling at the end of the day. So been really enjoying that. As you can see, you can kind of see like through there a little bit and it's getting pretty thin on the side. So I think we're continuing to make really good progress on this. I don't think this will be done by the end of the year, although I don't think I had any intention of it necessarily being done by the end of the year but it'll definitely be in a good spot for me to finish up in 2024 if it's not done by the end of the year although like i said i've kind of just been really gravitating to this so depending on how much makeup i wear in the next two months which might be a little bit more than i have been wearing because it'll be the holidays and we'll be out and about a little bit more maybe i'll be able to get this a little closer to being empty sorry if this video has been like super choppy i feel like i've gotten up like 10 to 15 times to help the baby out or like check on him or whatever so yeah we're working through that and i hope you guys don't mind all the jump cuts and if things are a little not quite as they normally are that is why and i apologize but i've now talked through the four products that are staying in this project and then the product that i am rolling out that i have completely finished and i'm super excited about is my physician's formula butter bronzer and i use this one 11 times as well to completely finish it up i am so excited to have hit a complete empty on another bronzer i finished my fenty bronzer last year and had no expectations to finish a bronzer this year because I literally worked on my Fenty bronzer from the beginning of the year to the end and I started it, I believe, I started it in the project with a little pan already. So that one just took me forever to use and I just had no intention of finishing another bronzer this year, but this one kind of fell into my lap a little bit. So this bronzer, I've mentioned this in other videos, some people disagree, I think it depends on which formula maybe you have, but this bronzer has been extremely powdery for me since the beginning. And I had it in a couple Shop My Stash Project pans and ended up hitting pan on it. And I was like, wow, like I didn't have to use it that much to hit pan on it. Like it could be a really good one to roll into my project pan and focus on and actually end up finishing. And that's exactly what ended up happening. I used this 49 times, that's it in this project pan over the last few months to finish it up. So really excited about that. I've really enjoyed this bronzer. I think it's been very natural for me to wear or it looks very natural on my skin. So I have really liked it for that. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this and maybe I'll talk about this more like in the next empties video and all of that. But the reason being is because I feel like I used it way faster than any other bronzer, like I said, that I've ever used up or just to hit pan on. And so I don't know if I'm like getting my money's worth. I'm like hesitant. I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of like something like the Fenty bronzer that took me forever to use. But this one I used relatively quickly. So I'm a little hesitant on repurchasing, but that being said, I really have enjoyed it. So maybe I will at some point. And that is it for the update in terms of, you know, where we stand with everything. And I've kind of gone back and forth if I'm going to roll another product into this project pan. I think last year when I finished products towards the end, I just said, okay, I'm just gonna work on these four, or these three or whatever is left. But I think what I'm going to do is actually roll a product in and it's just because I wanna continue to make some progress on it with the hopes of having it in the project in 2024 and finishing it then. And again, this was actually just in my Shop My Stash project pan. I feel like that is a great project for me. And if you're kind of into panning, could be a great project for you to do to really get a sense of what could be moved into a project pan at some point or just get a little bit of extra work on something before you roll it into a project pan. And so I just had this Makeup Geek Romance blush in that project previously last month and made some progress on the pan size and thought wow this could be a really good one one because it's older in my collection but two I have a very large pan in it to finish up and so I was like well maybe I'll just hold off and use other blushes until 2024 and then roll it into the project at that point but I mean there's no issue with getting a little bit of a head start in my eyes and so I'm going to work on this for the next couple months and then you know, see where we're at. I think I'll probably have to repress it because I'm getting pretty close to the edge at the top here. And then at that point, then hopefully roll it into the project at the beginning of 2024 and be able to work through this pretty quickly. So that is my goal. That's kind of what I'm thinking about for this. I sometimes like to be a little strategic with these projects. Not always though, but 
that is the one that I'm going to be rolling in to replace my butter bronzer. And I'm super excited about that. Really happy with the status of this project. So what you can expect to see from me for this project is a video at the beginning of December, giving my November update, and then a video towards the end of December, kind of just being my finale, sharing with you where everything stands, and then talking through all the products that I have finished in this project. And then I'll also be doing a year-end makeup empties like I did last year, so you can expect to see that. A planning to pan video, so you can expect to see that for 2024. And then I'll also be kicking off 2024 with my new five pan rolling style project pan. So yeah, a lot of good stuff to look forward to over the next few months. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for sticking through this video when I got a baby in here with me. I really appreciate it and I appreciate all of you. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and thank you so much. And also I thank you so much. We recently hit 3000 subscribers. So if you are one of those people that helped get us over the edge, I guess everyone did, you know, but more recent new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And yeah, I will talk to all of you soon.